Hey guys, Mordok here. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a fairly simple paracord flogger. Now, if your children or your spouse don't obey, or if you're just building the pyramids, this can be quite a handy tool. So in this video, we're going to do one of these paracord floggers using a few simple techniques. With that said, let's take a look at the supplies, then make our own. Now as far as supplies go, the first thing that you're going to need is a couple of strands of paracord. I'm going to use two and this gives you basically a very small flogger. It has a thin handle and four tails. If you wanted a thicker handle as well as more tails, you would simply use more cords. Maybe three, which will give you six tails. Maybe four, which is going to give you eight, and so on. Each of the cords needs to be five feet long for the handle, plus a bit more for the tails. So usually I will take six feet per cord at the minimum, or seven if I really want long tails. You're going to need something for the core, for the handle, and a piece of dowel will do just fine. You're going to optionally need a metal ring of some sort. I'm going to use a D-ring. As far as the tools for this project, I'm going to use a knife to cut the cords with, as well as a lighter to singe the ends after I've done cutting them. With that said, let's get into the tutorial. I'm going to start by taking my ring, and I'm going to feed my two cords through it. I'm going to pull the two cords so that I get to the middle point of my two cords. So something like this. I'm now going to turn my cords up and basically spread them apart like this for example, then tie a crown knot. So I start with one of the cords, travel counterclockwise over the next one, then take the next cord, travel counterclockwise over the next cord, then take the third cord, travel counterclockwise over the last cord, and the last cord basically travels into the loop created by the first cord. And this is what you get before tightening. Now tighten up your first crown knot. Like this. Now we're going to continue by tying a double foot rope knot. This is mostly a decorative knot and it is optional. You don't absolutely have to do it, but in my opinion, it looks quite nice. So these are the double foot rope knots, which give the top and bottom a bit more of a unique look. So I'm going to start by again tying a crown knot. Like this. Now what I'm going to do is tighten it up slightly. Something like this. I'm going to take one of the cords, travel counterclockwise under the next cord, 
then pull my cord towards the top. So like this. Under the next cord in the counterclockwise direction, then up. Then take the next cord, travel under in the counterclockwise direction, under the next cord, then up. Basically, I'm holding these cords up so that I know which I have already done. Then take the third cord, travel counterclockwise under the next cord, and up. And finally, the last cord travels basically over to here. And then under and up. Now, if we take a look, we can see that all of the chords should be basically parallel to a chord on the right side. If they're not, simply move them to the left side of this chord. Then we're going to take one of the chords and we're going to follow this chord on the right side. So basically we just double it up. Then we take the next chord and again we double up this chord on the right side. And then the next chord again doubles up this chord. And then the last of the chords doubles up this chord. Now, again, pick up any of the chords and we're going to travel here so over to, then up and through the middle. Take the next chord over these two then up and through the middle. And the next chord over to and up and through the middle. And the last of the chords over to and up and through the middle. And with that we have tied a double foot rope knot. We're now going to tighten it up, then continue our project. After tightening my double foot rope knot, I'm going to take my core, which can be a dowel rod, or a nail, or something made out of metal, whatever you have available. I'm going to stick it right in between all four of the cords. Like this. Now we're going to do a series of crown knots until we get the length for the handle that we would like. So this is what we're doing now. So the crown knot is done exactly the same way that we have done it before. So we take one of the strands, place it counterclockwise over the next strand, then take the next strand again counterclockwise over the next strand 
Then the next strand goes counterclockwise over the next. And then the last one is going to travel into the loop created by the first strand. And with that we basically made a crown knot around the core. Now tighten it up, then we continue. So after tightening your first crown knot, we do the second one exactly the same way. So like this, then tighten up. Continue this technique until you get the length for the handle that you would like. If your dowel rod is too long, at the end you are able to cut it to get the proper length. So after making the length for our handle, we're going to continue by making another double foot rope knot. So again we're going to start with a crown knot. After the crown knot, pick out a strand, travel counterclockwise under the next strand, and up. Pick up the next strand, and go under the next strand in the counterclockwise direction. And again up. We always want to pull our cords up so that we know which we have already done. Then the third cord, under the fourth one, and up. And then the last one travels over these two cords here. Then under. And up. So basically, we again have a cord that's on the left side of this cord. And here again. And here again. And here again. I'm now going to pick up one of the cords and double up this cord here on the right side. Like this. Take the next cord, again double up this cord on the right side. And the next cord doubles up this cord. And the last one again doubles up a cord. Now all we need to do is take one of the cords and we're again going to travel over two, then up and through the middle. So over two and up through the middle. 
then the next chord over to and up and through the middle. And the next chord over to and up through the middle. And the last chord over to and up through the middle. Like this. Now tighten up this second foot rope knot and then we're going to finish the flogger. So after finishing the second foot rope knot, the last thing that we need to do is finish the tails. So basically you pick up a tail, you make a loop like this and feed the end through, which ties an overhand knot. Now just to make things a bit nicer, add a second turn through, then tighten up. And this gives you a bit more of a bulky finish. And again, you basically make a loop, then two turns through the loop. And tighten up. Finally, trim and meld the ends and you are done. So guys, with that we came to the end of this tutorial. You can make this flogger with more strands, you can make it with a longer handle, a shorter handle, whatever you prefer. The principle is pretty much the same. Thank you for joining me in this video and I hope to see you next time.